Howdy folks. So there's been an update for Star Exterminator. If you're using Star Exterminator in PixInsight, if you've purchased it, uh, there has been an update. So when you start PixInsight, you should get prompted for, uh, you should get prompted to update it and uh, you'll get a new version of Star Exterminator that's using uh, AI version 8. Now I found that um, in my previous video comparing the new StarNet 2 uh, with StarNet Exterminator, uh, that the new StarNet 2 was actually uh, producing a better result than Star Exterminator was. Well, tables have turned. Now it's looking like Star Exterminator with the latest update is actually doing a better job than StarNet 2 is. So. Uh, it may be handy to have both in your arsenal depending on uh, the image that you're working on but I just wanted to quickly demonstrate um, both of them in action and uh, let you decide uh, what you think is the uh, the best of the two at this particular stage. I'm sure it'll change again uh, in the near future but uh, for now this is where we're at. Um, so let's compare StarNet 2 to the latest version of Star Exterminator. Uh, using AI version 8. So I'm just going to switch my screens here and we can see here PixInsight. Um, I've already updated Star Exterminator and uh, what I've got here is I've got the same image. I just made a duplicate of it. So this is uh, NGC 1333. It's a very star rich field uh, in space. Um, I've labeled this StarNet 2 and I've labeled this one Star Exterminator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run both StarNet 2 and Star Exterminator and we're going to see what the uh, end result is uh, after we run both. So StarNet 2, I've got it set to create the uh, star mask for me and so it'll extract the stars from this image when we run it. So let's do that. We'll get this uh, going and we will come back when it's completed. Okay, so we've ran StarNet 2 on the image and it has extracted the stars. Here's the stars right here. Uh, we'll just minimize this and tuck it up here. And this is the end result here so we can see how it looks. Uh, let me just uh, do that there. So it removed um, the majority of stars. There's still some stars uh, left in the image that we can see here. Um, but it did a, a nice job, did a very good job, certainly uh, something that is quite usable. Let's go over to Star Exterminator and run Star Exterminator on the same image and uh, see what kind of result we get. So I have it set to extract the stars and we will drop the blue triangle onto it and start the process. And again, uh, we'll come back when it's completed. Okay, so Star Exterminator finished extracting the stars from the image. Uh, here's the stars that it extracted. We'll just minimize it as well and tuck it up here along with the other one. And I'm going to close both of these off. So just to give me some screen space here to put these side by side. There is the difference. So the Star Exterminator image on the right, um, it actually removed the residual stars that uh, StarNet 2 left behind. So it would appear at this particular point in the uh, battle between the two um, that Star Exterminator is now uh, the clear winner. Um, it is actually uh, removing the, it's removing more of the stars and I mean the NGC 1333 uh, image uh, star field is, is very um, a uh, very crowded star field. Uh, so uh, the ability of Star Exterminator to remove uh, majority of the stars um, has uh, uh, really been proven out here in this comparison, side by side comparison. Starnet did, uh, Starnet 2 did a, an excellent job, don't get me wrong. Um, still quite happy with Starnet 2, uh, but it did leave some stars behind in its uh, process, whereas the uh, star exterminator removed all of the stars from the image. Okay, so before you go, I just want to also have a look at how uh, both of them are performing when extracting the stars from a linear image. So before, uh, those stars were extracted based on a non-linear image, so an image that had been stretched. Let's have a look at uh, how they perform um, removing the stars 
for a linear image, an image that has not been stretched. So I'm just going to switch back over and I have things set up again here. Um, we've got our StarNet 2 image and we've got the Star Exterminator image. Uh, these are, as I mentioned, linear images, so they have not been stretched yet. If I just do a preview auto stretch, uh, you can see there's NGC 1333. Uh, I'll turn that off for now while we do this. Uh, now, a viewer uh, was nice enough to bring this to my attention that uh, StarNet 2, when you're using the linear data um, method, uh, so you're going to remove the stars from a linear image. Um, StarNet 2 requires that you um, apply an STF auto stretch, so a, a preview auto stretch to the image. Um, this is not actually stretching the image, this is just applying the auto stretch so you can see the image. But StarNet 2 uses this, these parameters, these auto stretch parameters to extract the stars. Now, uh, in my opinion, the wording is kind of poorly uh, written here. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it says it uses an STF parameters, uses STF parameters to stretch the image and then destretches it back. So that would imply to me that StarNet 2 is going to do the auto stretch, remove the stars, and then unstretch it. But that's not how it works. Uh, the actual way that this works is that you have to manually do the auto stretch first, the preview auto stretch, then apply StarNet 2. It removes the stars. Um, I don't usually remove the stars in a uh, linear state anyways. Um, um, the, the results are usually, what I found with Star Exterminator is the results are actually very similar anyways. So uh, it's really quite irrelevant. I guess it's just a matter of where you want to uh, uh, place it in your workflow. But uh, for me, I, I've always uh, removed the stars after I've stretched the image. It just seemed to work better for me, I found anyways. That was my experience. Uh, your mileage may vary. So uh, let's have a look at this. So we're going to apply the preview auto stretch to the StarNet 2 image. Uh, we've got linear data enabled because we're using a linear image and we'll apply StarNet 2 and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so that's the end result. Uh, it's very similar, if not identical, to um, the uh, star removal on a nonlinear image. Um, it's still left, uh, StarNet 2 still left uh, some stars behind um, as we can see here, did a nice job, but it, it did leave some stars behind. So let's have a look at the Star Exterminator side of things. Uh, with Star Exterminator, you do not have to apply a preview auto stretch. Uh, Star Exterminator will do all of the work for you, which makes a lot more sense to me. Uh, that that certainly uh, is what I had thought StarNet 2 did, um, as I had mentioned. Uh, so just something to remember between the two. So let's apply Star Exterminator and we'll see uh, what the end result is. Okay, so the Star Exterminator star removal process completed on the linear image. Let's just do a, an auto stretch, a preview on it to see what it looks like. And here's the result here. So we can see that it uh, did a very good job and it removed the, uh, it removed the stars that uh, StarNet 2 wasn't able to remove, as we can see, they're not there anymore. Here's the StarNet 2 here. I'll just move this over again like I did before. How about I close these off again, and I'll just move these over a little bit side by side so we can see StarNet 2 on the left, um, some of the stars left over, and Star Exterminator, the new Star Exterminator with uh, AI version 8, uh, removed those stars. Um, there might be little one maybe one or two tiny ones three right there uh, but I mean very insignificant overall star exterminator in my opinion is uh, clearly doing a better job at removing the stars than StarNet 2 is let me know in the comments below uh, are you using StarNet 2 it's free and I'm sure a lot of people are using it star exterminator uh, does uh, uh, have a price tag associated with it but at this point with the latest update using uh, AI version 8 it appears that star exterminator is actually doing a better job than StarNet 2 is um, so anyways that's it just wanted to give you a quick update on that uh, check it out uh, you can uh, like I said you'll get the uh, if you have star exterminator if you bought it and installed 
installed it in PixInsight, you'll get a, a notification in the bottom corner of your PixInsight when you uh, start it up, um, indicating that there's an update available. Install that update, restart your PixInsight, and then uh, you're ready to go um, get uh, using the new version of Star Exterminator. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you can. That would be very much appreciated. It helps the channel grow. Like and give me a comment. Hit the bell notification so that uh, you get notified of new videos like this. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you again, and take care for now. Hope you're getting some clear skies.